From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is certainly a hazy start out there on this Monday morning. We're going to continue to have more haze throughout the rest of the day, although it will start to thin out at least for portions. Uh, well, really any area not named the foothills or the Blue Mountains. OK, and there is a little chance that we could see a shower or a thunderstorm for today. So we'll go ahead and put that in motion with Stormcast. There it went. It was real quick. It, it, it's off the screen now, but before lunchtime, could have a tiny chance of a shower or thunderstorm with the best chances being along the foothills and also along the Blue Mountains proper. The rest of the day should be pretty dry, but it's going to be a hot one as we do have a heat advisory that's in place until 10 p.m. this evening. It goes for the Yakima Valley, for the lower Columbia Basin, and for the foothills of the Blue Mountains. So for today, it will still end up being about 5 to 10 degrees above average for this time of the year, just shy of 100 degrees for the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys, likely right around 100 for the lower Columbia Basin, and then just shy of 100 for the foothills of the Blues. It'll be hazy for today. Like I mentioned, the worst of the worst air quality is going to be in southern portions of Morrow and Umatilla counties, and also the winds are going to be very blustery for today, gusting from the northwest to the southwest, and they could gust between 20 to 50 miles per hour with the fastest wind gust easily being in the Kittitas Valley. And then for tonight, temperatures cooling off into the 50s and 60s. A lot of the haze will be pushed back into the foothills of the Blues and into the Blue Mountains. And then into tomorrow, it looks like overall haze should be a little bit less prevalent. Look at this, much cooler for Tuesday, right around average, actually some below average values for Thursday and Friday, so that'll be a nice change of pace. And we're tracking some more small thunderstorm chances for Wednesday and Sunday. Here's a seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. This is gonna be our last day of triple digits for a while. Better air quality tomorrow and then 80s, potentially in a Thursday and Friday. For Yakima, we'll have a small shower chance this morning, dry for the rest of the forecast period, much cooler by Thursday and Friday. For Hermiston, we'll be breezy by the river over the next couple of days, lots of sunshine ahead, and a much cooler end to this week. And then for Walla Walla, a decent chance of a thunderstorm this morning, more air quality impacts for tomorrow, and hopefully some of this cooler weather will help with the firefighting efforts in the foothills and in the mountains.